Hello and a warm welcome to the Tamil Nadu Brief. I'm Sam Daniel. The headlines first. CISE schools to adopt or collaborate with neighborhood government schools as part of their CSR. No language including Hindi would be mandatory, tells its CEO, Dr. Joseph Emmanuel. Yet another doctor aspirant dies by suicide in Tamil Nadu over need. And Kamal Hassan's thug life to release on the 5th of June. The birthday boy in the US releases the film's teaser as his birthday gift for his fans. In what could be seen as a positive, empowering initiative to improve the quality of education in government schools across India, schools affiliated with the CISCE, the Council for Indian School Certificate Examination, will soon adopt or collaborate their neighborhood government schools. A pilot project would first be implemented. Based on the experience and lessons learned, this would be expanded to schools across the country. Students, teachers and parents would join hands. I spoke to its CEO, Dr. Joseph Emmanuel, on the nitty-gritty of this interesting initiative and on the three-language formula states like Tamil Nadu do not agree with as part of the new education policy, what they call as Hindi imposition. I understand you also plan to introduce a kind of a CSR activity for ICSE schools across India to tie up with government schools in particular, to be able to improve them, to empower them, specifically in what ways or in what areas they'll be able to bring changes. The national education policy talks about school complexes or cluster of schools wherein a kind of sharing and caring is promoted among the neighborhood schools. CISC being one of the premier educational institutions in the country has many very reputed and well-known schools affiliated to it from all over the country. These schools are known as center of excellence. And as part of this initiative, the council will be promoting all the excellent schools to collaborate with the neighborhood schools to pass on the best practices in the locality. Who would be involved in this? Are the students or the teachers and those at the managerial level in these schools? All the stakeholders, right from the school management, heads of schools, teachers, students and parents, all will be collaborated and learn from each other to promote best practices. Tamil Nadu sees many state board schools switching towards ICSE. Are you poaching in that sense? No, it's, uh, there is no question of poaching. It is working together, living together and promoting each other. So, we, Central uh, Council for the Indian School Certificate Examination is in the forefront of bringing innovative practices. And we have Global Connect. We work with many global organizations. So the best practices across the world can be brought into the country and we are in a better position to disseminate these best practices in Indian context to the schools across the country. So naturally the schools across the country is attracted to the council. We need to provide learning opportunity according to the need, aspiration and the requirement of the 21st century students and the 21st century learner. When it comes to the new education policy, in Tamil Nadu's context, for instance, the three-language formula is something very touchy. The state government doesn't want that. They are comfortable with English being taught along with uh, the regional, the local language that's Tamil, or options to learn any other mother tongue. Uh, how would the ICSC or your CISC look at this? Council is very flexible in providing learning opportunity to all the schools and students. Wherever the school is located, the council schools have the freedom to go with the government policies. But opportunity is available for studying single language, two language and three language, as the case may be. Hindi will not be mandatory. In the council affiliated schools, uh, no language is compulsory. Thank you very much for your time. That was Mr. Joseph Emmanuel, the CEO of CISCE, talking to us. A neat aspirant woman student has died by suicide in the Tirunal Valley district of Tamil Nadu. Investigators say the student wanted to stay 
at a hostel to prepare for this highly competitive examination and this had become an issue in her family. Police are investigating if the student had taken NEET earlier as well. More than 20 such NEET aspirants including class 12 toppers have died by suicide in Tamil Nadu over the last seven years. Unable to crack this highly competitive test that's mandatory for medical admission. The state has passed a bill seeking exemption from NEET, arguing that it favours only the affluent students who can afford private coaching and works against the interest of poor and rural students who cannot afford this kind of a sum, despite being toppers in class 12. Earlier, nearly for a decade, Tamil Nadu had abolished any kind of entrance test for medical admission and had made admission to medical colleges only on the basis of class 12 marks. This is what the girl's father had to say. <laughs> And finally, actor Kamal Hassan's thug life would release on the 5th of June. Today is the actor's 70th birthday, but the birthday boy is in the US. And he released the teaser for this film as his birthday gift for his fans. Fans are excited. Directed by Mani Ratram, who joins hands with Kamal Hassan after three decades. A. Rehman has scored music. Silam Barasan, Trisha and Abhirami play pivotal roles in this film. It's a big day for actor-politician Kamal Hassan celebrating his 70th birthday today. He's in the US but has made up for his absence by gifting his fans the teaser for his upcoming film Thug Life directed by Mani Ratram and also announcing that it will hit the screens on the 5th of June. Joining us now, Mr. Arun, a hardcore fan and also a media personality. Thank you very much, Arun. A perfect Pleasure. birthday gift for fans. Absolutely. I mean, although we would have liked for him to be here, uh, unfortunately, he has not been able to make it uh, um, uh, to the office on his birthday. He's not in the country at the moment, as I understand. But usually, November 7 is a very, very special day for all Andavar, Namavar, uh, diehards like I am. Uh, it usually entails a trip uh, to the office here in the morning, and then we donate blood on every single birthday office. It's a tradition that's been going on for nearly half a century now. And um, speaking of Thug Life, this teaser has... Uh, promised a lot and I'm sure it will deliver as, as uh, you, you would have uh, gathered yourself. It's an absolute cracker of a teaser. It marks the return of one of the most venerated, one of the most uh, stupendous combinations in Mr. Mani Ratnam and uh, uh, Andavar after 1987 when they did Nayagan together. And this is bound to be another epoch in the making because uh, it's a writing collaboration as well. Right. Uh, Mr. Kamal Hassan and Mr. Mani Ratnam have collaborated and the teaser looks absolutely stunning and I believe this is just the entree. There's more to come. Kamal Hassan, Mani Ratnam, Trisha, Abhirami. Yeah, great combo in that sense. It's a great ensemble. Uh, make no mistake about that. But more than that, I think it's a, it's a coming together of real powerhouses of talent. And uh, that's what you expect from a Raj Kamal Films International production or a Madras Talkies production. And with the synergy of these two entities, it's bound to be much bigger and grander. And June 5, 2025 is the date that all of us are looking forward to because uh, 2022, uh, June was when Vikram released. And uh, we saw what kind of rage, the storm that it unleashed at the box office, which once again proved that Ulaganayangan is well and truly uh, the boss of both mass and class. No one really can do the kind of things that he has done over the years. I mean, to give silver jubilees in six different languages over generations after over generation after generation, and to excel across the film fraternity as a writer, as a director, as a lyricist, as a dancer. I mean, it, the list just keeps going on. Indian two didn't do well that uh, at the box office, so there will be more pressure this time. I would just see it as elaboration. We would rather look at uh, Vikram 
and there was of course the uh, Andover's cameo in Kalki which was spoken about with uh, a lot of aplomb. There is bound to be Vikram too as Mr. Lokesh did confirm um, uh, some time earlier. Uh, so there is a lot to look forward to really. I mean in, in uh, uh, Ulagan Aigan as well as Nammavar's life if you get what I mean. It's an action drama. It is said to be an action drama. I also believe uh, there is a periodic element to it. Uh, if, if the rumours uh, are true, uh, Andover plays, uh, Andover dons two or three different uh, get-ups in this yeah. film. And the story is also set to traverse across different timelines. So it's already a really, really exciting proposition. Thank you so much, Arun, for your time. And uh, politically speaking, Kamal Hassan, many say, would also start focusing for the 2026 assembly elections and he would also become a Rajya Sabha MP next year according to the deal struck with the ruling DMK and that's why they say he has also opted out of the popular Big Boss show this season. Well that's all we could pack on this edition of the Tamil Nadu Brief. See you tomorrow same time. Goodbye.